welcome to hopefully a long-awaited video, my flat tour. I've been living in this flat for almost a year. It probably will have been a year by the time I finally edit and upload the video. I don't really feel comfortable posting a video like this and kind of disclosing my location online like, while well, I'm still living here. I'm not sure if this information will be out by the time I edit and upload this or not, but I am indeed moving. I wanted to finish this chapter of my life kind of by commemorating where I've lived for the last almost year um, and having this place documented in some way. The place is definitely not perfect. I mean, there is a reason why I'm moving out, but I'll probably talk about that in a different video. Welcome to my little flat just off the Royal Mile. It's smack dab in the middle of the town. This is my first ever proper rented flat. Well, despite all the negative things I can say about it, it'll still always hold a special place in my heart at kind of my first official adult flat that I ever lived in. So a little bit of backstory maybe. I started renting the flat last June, June 2022. We paid just under a thousand pounds per month for rent for two of us. Um, so that's just me and one other flatmate. So my rent ends up being 497 pounds per month if I remember correctly which on the one hand is a lot of money on the other hand given the current market that is a very good price especially given our very 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 central location so we are currently standing in my living room this is quite a sizable space especially for two people it's really good especially given the fact that our individual bedrooms are not the biggest I know we've had quite sizable groups of friends coming over before um, and it's just really nice to honestly have this like communal space um, outside of the kitchen. The main thing that I love about well this room but also the entire flat is the windows that we have down basically the entirety of the living room and also our bedrooms for purely aesthetic reasons. I love them. I love all the natural sunlight that enters the room and we also have this little courtyard area outside of our windows um, and it's really nice to have like a little taste of the environment outside um, to look through our windows. So right now the trees are in full bloom. There's beautiful green leaves but during fall time we have lovely orange and red leaves through your window so it's just really nice to have that little piece of greenery um, coming into the flat I love greenery I love plants that was one of the main things I really wanted in a flat is to have some form of access to nature so I'm really happy about that the camera is currently set on our bookshelf which is just again like a really nice space to kind of decorate add more personality to the room we just have a lot of like personal items little knickknacks that bring a lot of personality and like spice to the flat we have two pretty decent couches um one of them is big enough for someone to sleep on we have had people sleep on them i wish they opened up i feel like that would really make this flat so much better if we could like actually open up the bed and have people stay over rather than just like people can sleep on it but it's kind of like a last resort sort of thing i wouldn't necessarily say it's like the best night's sleep you'll ever have but it's good to have and then a little desk in the corner our bedrooms are very small and they do not have desks personally i was okay with that as just for my degree I tend to do a vast majority of my work in studio so I don't actually need a desk in my room and if anything it's been really helpful to kind of separate my work-life balance um, doing work in studio and then still doing work but not as intensive work from my bed that being said it has been quite nice to have this little desk in the corner and this little little nook of the room um, I will sometimes wake up earlier on a Sunday with a little coffee do my Spanish lessons or plan for the week um, and you just have really nice views outside so I really do appreciate that little corner. But this is kind of the first space you enter when you come into the room. There's like a little hallway space um, where I have some of my coats hung up and things but we generally have like a shoe stand right by the entrance. This is kind of the main space you enter into uh, which is why this is where I'm starting the video. And then from here, you can either come in through there, which is where our kitchen is, which is the next room I'll be showing you, or that hallway leads to the bedroom and the bathroom. Now, coming back to what I was saying before about natural light, I really wish the kitchen had natural light. It's actually not terrible now as I have got some natural light coming in 
from the living room, but in general, I don't even know if the quality is great right now. I guess we'll see when we're editing. I just wish this room and the bathroom had a window, which are the two rooms that do not have windows. I mean, you can't really have everything, but I just love having windows in every room. I'll try to turn on the light. The artificial lighting is just not it. That's why I'm usually not super happy with like clips I film in the kitchen and I love cooking. I love making coffee um, and I like documenting those. So it's just not ideal to be honest. But anyhow, this is our kitchen. Pretty sizable room, especially for two people. We have all the things we need really. Fridge, washing machine, which is so good as you don't really tend to have washing machines as a student accommodation, so having both a washer and a dryer is very, very appreciated. Stove top, we got a toaster and a kettle, a microwave. You could have more storage, but to be honest, for two people, it's just the right amount, I think. One thing that I absolutely adore about this kitchen is the kitchen tiles. They're so pretty. They're like a pinky, marbly sort of tile. I don't know how old they are. Um, they look like a vintage sort of pattern to be honest, but I actually don't know when the kitchen was remodeled. It's like it's it's just a really pretty kitchen. Like from all the apartments that I toured before, I found that like the kitchen tends to be the place that looks either ultra modern but like in an ugly way. Or the kitchen tends to be the place with like very particular design choices like really bright colors or super intense wallpaper or tiles um whereas this one is quite muted but it still has those really pretty dainty elements in the design which i really appreciate we also added a few postcards and polaroids to our fridge but that is pretty much it i don't think there is much to be said about the kitchen if i'm being honest Excuse the strange angle, but this is kind of the only way I can perch my camera for it to be the right height. But this is the hallway that leads to our bedrooms, and at the end of the hall is the bathroom. Um, not much to say about the hall, so I'll take you into my bedroom. So this is my bedroom. It's a teeny teeny tiny room. Both bedrooms are roughly the same size, only the other one also has a closet, whereas mine just has little wardrobe, but tiny spaces, but I feel like the flat kind of makes up for it with um, the size of the living room. And also, I mean, the massive windows. They're literally my favorite feature of the entire flat. Since moving in, I added um, an extra piece of furniture, my bedside table, because the flat didn't come with it. Uh, I brought in an extra mirror, just kind of Make the room seem a little bit bigger. I've obviously put in a lot of plants into this room. I love greenery. So there's several plants peppered all around the room, even though the room itself is quite tiny. I mean, this is probably the room you're most familiar with if you've seen any of my other videos. This is where I start most of my videos. This is where I do a lot of the talking parts. Despite everything that can be said about like the size of the room, I think it's a really pretty bedroom, um, even without like all my little bits and pieces that I've brought in. I think the furniture here is really nice. I, I love the color scheme. I love the color of the wood. Obviously, I love the greenery coming in through the window. Which I wish, well, I wish the room was bigger, but I also wish the bed had storage underneath. I'm really happy to have a queen size bed. I've never had one until living here. I feel like there could be so much extra space in this room if only I could like access and put things underneath the bed. It's one of these annoying beds that's just like a block so there's no putting things underneath it. I feel like that would definitely give me a lot more storage and also allow me to like optimize this entire space. It's, it's been a good place to call my own for the last almost year but one thing about the massive windows is how cold it gets, especially since they're single glazed. So buying a heated blanket was an absolute necessity for me. I genuinely don't think I would have survived this winter if it hadn't been for my um, heated blanket and I still use it up until this day. Cost of living crisis is a real thing. Um, and also it's, it's essential for me to be able to heat up my bed just because it gets so cold here. I mean, it's mid-April now that I'm filming this and I still use my heated blanket. If you compare this room to my dorm room from last year, it's definitely a bit more elevated, a bit more grown up. Even though my bedroom last year was a lot bigger than this one, the amount of like 
graphics and images all over my walls has definitely decreased to the one little photo collage I have in the corner of my room and also my Polaroid wall. It definitely feels a lot more grown up than my room last year, but I'm also quite excited for the transformation in the bedroom in my next flat. Welcome to my bathroom. As I said, the lighting is absolutely atrocious, so I'll try not to be here for too long. Um, yeah, it's quite, there's not really much to say. It's like quite a small space, but also it's just the two of us here, so we're perfectly fine. I cannot get over how terrible the lighting here is. <laughs> The camera is currently put down on this little shelf area that we have where we tend to like keep all of our cosmetics and stuff. Highly recommend having little individual bins for each of the flatmates so that you can keep all of your stuff contained. Then we also have the mirror cupboard right here which is really useful to have. We have a half each. Um, yeah, not much to say about it. Like, one thing that I really like about it is that we have golden tabs. We also before we moved in, the shower and everything, all of that was gold as well. I think something must have been wrong with the shower head or something because all of that had to be switched out and is now unfortunately not gold anymore, it's silver, but the taps remain gold. Um, and that's a little feature I love about this flat. I hope you enjoyed having a little peek into the little flat I've been living in just off the Royal Mile for the last 10 months ish and as much as i'm so excited for the new flat to come i think it'll be a very exciting new chapter in my life um there are certain aspects of this flat that i will miss so i'm happy to have a space to kind of document and compile kind of my memories um and the way I lived in this flat for ages. I'm really grateful to have some of the vlogs from the last year really moving into this flat, soon moving out. I'm really happy to have kind of a medium to look back on one day on the flat that I lived in when I was 20, when I was a second year university student. I hope if you wanted to have a little glance at what, what roughly 500 pounds per person could get you in Edinburgh, then I hope this was helpful. Um, as I said, the prices most likely will have gone up. I don't know how much this flat will be going for next year. Honestly, I think anything over £500 is a rip-off, but most likely it will go up. And if you are interested in Edinburgh Living, Edinburgh Apartment content, stick around because my moving series is going to be coming up soon. Yeah, bear in mind that is a very stressful process. I did not think I'd be going through it again anytime soon after having found this flat, but you know, Things change, circumstances change. Yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.